that I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal in Michigan, most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. How you doing everyone? My name is Ryan and this is Ade and welcome back to another edition of Box Talk. That's not a Box Talk hoodie. Uh, you know, I, I was about to say that. not a Box Talk hoodie, uh, It's mate. not, it's not. Um, yeah, you just saw it out. I feel a bit, I feel a bit naughty wearing it, out, it yeah. you know. Because I've, I've done it a few videos that people have well, mentioned it. Listen, listen, yeah. I've got like five hoodies. Come see me, I'll hook you up. <laughs> <laughs> $24.99. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We've got our... Um, well, half that money then. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. We've got um. Andre Berto, the returning Andre Berto, all the controversy, shoulder surgery, failed drug test, which he didn't really fail. Yeah, he didn't, to be fair, yeah. that's a good point. Versus Jose, Josito Lopez. Josito. Josito. full Mexican name. Yeah. Josito. Lopez. In a, I'm actually going to call this a crossroads fight. Both guys are in desperately need of a win and an impressive win. Who did Andre Berto fight out last time again? Who did he fight last time on the undercard of Brona? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember, yeah. He didn't look great. I remember I even interviewed the guy. Jeez, I interviewed the guy. Manuel he didn't Taylor. look great. Manuel no, Manny Taylor, Taylor was Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner, yeah. I was like, ooh. Can't remember. Yeah, for, I remember though, yeah. For bad. For yeah. bad for saying it. Sorry, guys. I'm going to obviously put his name down every four because that, that, that shows a lot. Yeah. That says a lot. I don't even know who the former, again, another former heir apparent. Yeah. And he was. Why do I always get these guys wrong? I think he just loves boxing, yeah? And every guy that's got a little skill is the future. And I have to bring him back down to yeah. earth a little bit yeah, yeah, yeah. and tell him that you know you need to calm down a little yeah. bit. You know, but yeah, Adrian Rowe and Andre Burton got me. They got me. <laughs> they got me good. You guys got me good, both of you. <laughs> this fight here is, is an interesting fight. Jose, Jose Lopez made his name when he fought um, Victor Ortiz. Yeah, cracked that jaw. And in that fight, to me personally, I thought Lopez was going to quit for a while. Yeah. He looked dishearted. And then somehow he hurt Victor Ortiz and made a good comeback and won the fight. to be hard to do now though. Yeah. yeah. But then he started, he made a name for himself, started getting interesting good fights. He but got jumping up and down in weight. That's what killed him. The Alvarez every, fight. Every mark he named he fought. He, he lost. But that's it really. But that, but it's almost, everyone started using him. Mm. And I'll tell you now, because we mentioned it for Kel Brook. I remember there was a time I was like, Kel Brook should fight Jose yeah, yeah, Lopez. Yeah. It's yeah. almost like he became this guy where you kind of knew who he was, yeah, it, but you knew he was beating him. So get him quickly. Yeah. And this is this is what Berto's camp are doing for me. Yeah. They've got a name, and there's a, get, a name of a guy that's mixed in with the best and beat one marquee yeah. fighter, really. Yeah. Yeah. Grab him. But you see, I like Jose Lopez. Oh, I and know. I think he's very tight. I think he's very skillful. Mm. But I think he's been very bad lucked in the sense where he's got a decent name from the fights. Yep. But he was obviously pushed around in weight class, he shouldn't be fighting that. Yeah. He was really a 140, one, I think he's a 140 guy. Yeah, 140 guy. Yeah. Yeah. So he's never been fighting guys his own real size. Yeah. So you gotta look at it and say, take into account, I guess what? He took all these fights, so no one say short notice. No, not not, no. not within short his notice. weight. Short notice. Not oh. within his weight class. Yeah. The guy, I feel uh, Cano was supposed to fight Kirkland and Kirkland pulled out, then Joe Little came in late. No, no, no. Remember, <laughs> remember, Canelo was supposed to fight Victor Ortiz. Yeah. And then he cracked Victor Ortiz and there then he you got go. There you go, thank you. But yeah. thanks for refreshing my memory. The part I'm making is, yeah, is that this is a guy that is talented but never been given the opportunity to have a full training camp, the full ability to fight someone maybe close to his size. Let's be honest, Canelo's a middleweight. Mm. Yeah? You've got to look at him and say, guess what? And Burrow had not looked good. Mm. Inactive, shoulder surgery, I'm just feeling an upset. Or if you would call it an upset. You know what it is about, and that's a good point you've already made, and we'll talk about the Andre Berta side to it very quickly. I remember we've spoken to so many boxers between those, even the guy that fought Berto last, and I can't remember his name, and I feel bad that I can't remember his name. Um, Eddie Chambers' brother, Upshaw Chambers. Yeah, 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 Steve, that's Steve, it. yeah. Yeah, Steve Upshaw Chambers. And he mentioned that, forget, when, when you're in that kind of middle tier as a fighter, yeah. you literally go from 130 to 150, you take fights yeah. anywhere. Yeah. You do it on four weeks' notice. So when these guys have these awful records, and it says like lost 17, yeah. doesn't mean they're bad boxers. No, it means they're getting two weeks yeah. notice to fight, to yeah. jump 20 pounds against yeah. a marquee fighter who's yeah. getting four or five bumps. Yeah. And that's the case here. And it's just to put money, take food in the plate. Literally, yeah, you just put money in the plate. You, yeah. you know, win or lose, you, you've almost forgot about trying to, you know, try to become the next Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. But you just want to get three, four thousand dollars a fight, they said, Pay and that, that is rent. it. Pay that rent. Mm. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you on this one. I smell an upset. Yeah. I really do. Um, I don't. I, I'm t I don't want to say Bert was gone, but those fights against Guerrero mm. and Soto Caras, I think it was, yeah. were vicious beatings. Yeah. And coming off soldier surgery yeah. as well, 
I'm not quite sure what's left in the tank yeah. for the, for him to have another big run at one four seven. Did Crash stop him in the twelfth? Crash stopped him. Yeah, in the after 12th, he yeah. put him down as well. It was a kind of back and forth thing. And Crash is almost like yeah. a Lopez, yeah. where he's been used as a gatekeeper yeah, for people to run through. I tell you what, here's the thing about age about Andre Bertol, is it, which which is for me concerns me as 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 a, as a as a dedicated boxing fan. Fighters have certain styles. Certain fighters have multiple styles because they're very talented. Yeah. When a fighter loses his identity. Like a Robert Guerrero has recently, yeah. and like AJ, uh, Andre Berto, I'm concerned. When Andre Berto tried to do the shoulder roll, no and remember, like it was, the, it was like the weirdest, most disgusting thing I've seen in boxing. I was like, what is he doing? He looks, he look, he look, he look wrong. But it, 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 look, it, look, it, it looks fantastic it, when you don't get caught. Yeah. When you start to get caught and peppered, it, yeah, non-stop. It's like this yeah. obviously isn't working yeah. for you. Why like, are you doing it's, this? It's like, it's like reversing the car down the road when yeah. everyone's driving forward. Yeah. It looks wrong. Yeah. It just looks wrong. Yeah. And I don't know what he was thinking. And then when you saw him trying to go toe to toe slugging it out, it's like that is not Adrian bro. That, that's sorry, that is not Andre Berto. Everyone gets those two mixed yeah. up all the time. That is not Andre Berto. That's not a guy that used to box nicely, balance, position, poise. That's all gone. Yeah. So that's what concerns me is that now he's, he's lost his identity. He has to rediscover himself. I don't think fighting Jordi Lopez probably rediscover himself because Jordi Lopez is going to be on you. I, I, it's a very good point you made, but I'm also thinking that he lost that style ages ago, and I, I sometimes believe that. Like what you said, when I was fooled into thinking he was that good, mm. even when he had that fight with Colazo and it yeah. started to get deep, yeah. he then just started to yeah. swing out. There wasn't yeah. that refinery like you see with a Mayweather yeah. where you just keep it refined. Yeah. It was almost like, oh, I've just got to go in the trenches yeah. here. Yeah. And he's still kept that style. Yeah. I mean, he's been with Virgil now a few training cramps. Mm. Will that help? Just sparring with Amir no. Khan and all that? Will that no, help a bit no. more? Virgil's style seems to take a few fights to get a fighter to understand his ethos and get it correct. And I'm mm. trying to say, so yes, it will work over time. But Berto hasn't been active enough mm. to pick up that. Yeah, spot. I'm just scared with the wear and tear with Berto. It might yeah. sound stupid, but I almost prefer someone getting knocked out in the first round yeah. than what's then happened take, to him. Then take the, the, those 12 round and 10 yeah. round beatings yeah. and shoulder surgery yeah. and ring rust yeah. and his last performance. I'm not looking at Berto thinking here, we've got another guy that could definitely do a run, like Amir Khan. Yeah. You know, Amir Khan getting, getting knocked out by Garcia, but you kind of think, everyone now still thinks Amir Khan can beat Garcia, if yeah. that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Berto, I just, I'm, I'm not sure where he is, and I think Lopez, could be a fight just a bit too yeah. early for him. Yeah. As you say, Virgil's training yeah. methods take up. I have yeah. two or three fights yeah. to get going. This will be his second fight under yeah. him. I think it might just be too early. Yeah. So I'm going for the upset as well. Same here. I'm going for a real upset. Jose Lito, Jose Lito Lopez by stoppage late. Now I'm going for a points decision. Yeah. I'm going for a point. Because I feel like Berto um, doesn't get stopped. He gets put down yeah. for some reason. He's got a lot of it. He gets up, even the Victor Ortiz fights. Then again, he got stopped. But did he get stopped by a sort of crash? I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, he got, I swear, it could have been a stoppage 12th round. It was late. It was like very late, like, like 30 seconds left. Was it? Yeah. I, uh, okay. Uh, guys, let us know because I'm not sure. Okay, um, I, I think I think um, he might just have enough to go the engine in, but I expect Lopez to get a point decision. But the only problem is if it goes points, it, Lopez has to destroy him because he's not going to get a point decision on yeah. Berto. No, the thing about it as well, here's the thing about Adrian Ber uh, Andre Berto, what gets me as well is that he's been so inactive for so long time, stamina and conditions are going to go. Yeah. So he might be in shape, but when the going gets tough, and you're talking about eight, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He's gonna suffer, and I think that's what's gonna be. Sometimes you can get knocked out or get stopped, not because you're getting knocked out, because you ain't got it in your gas tank. And I think the thing you mentioned, and we're, we're close on this point as well. The thing you mentioned right at the beginning of the video is that it's a crossroads fight for both of them. Mm. Lopez wins this. Lopez thinks he's right back in the mix as yeah, well. Yeah, he is. He is. You know I mean, Lopez won't think of this as that. Yeah. Lopez, I think I'm right back in the mix yeah. at my real weight class, 147 yeah. pounds right now. Yeah. Unless they have a fight of the year candidate, yeah. one's definitely going up, and the other's definitely going down. I'll be bad for Berto if he goes Seriously, down. seriously. If he loses, I mean, there'll, be, there'll literally be nowhere for him to go. All right. All right there you go, guys. Um, that's it. We we both think Berto's going to lose. And I think most people out there in the boxing world, really, guys, take off your Berto hat like I've got one. We'll probably think so as well when we look at Berto's last sort of three or four years in boxing. It's not been great. Mm -hmm. And no, Josito Lo Lopez hasn't been great either. But, like Ryan said, he's getting badly matched. He's fighting all kind of weight classes. Right now, he seems like he's probably at his best training camp, longest training camp for a while. And he's fighting at a weight class that probably naturally suits him. So I expect to see a very good, very strong, very determined Josito Lopez. Uh, get your thoughts to e in by email at boxtalk.hotmail.co.uk and don't forget to post on Twitter at boxtalkuk and on Instagram at boxtalk underscore one. There you go, guys. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching this edition of Box Talk.